Praise the Lord. I greet you, my dear friends, in the holy, mighty name of Jesus. We read in 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, He who is born of God conquers the world. What conquers the world? It's our faith that we are born of God. We read from the book of Genesis, A man who was so much loved by God, who experienced God's love, turns out to be a man who loves the people who come on his way, including the strangers. Abraham was living in a hut and suddenly he notices in the hot sun three young men are coming towards his hut. He didn't know who they are, from where they have come, to which caste they belong to. But his love for God, the love he had received from God, the Holy Spirit of God made him a man of love. So he ran to them and brought them inside the house. There is no place, of course, to make them to sit. So he brings the cot and puts it under the tree and tells them, you have come from a long way. Outside is very hot. Please be seated. I will bring the water to wash your feet. And you, as you relax, I will bring the food for you. The hut is so small. The wife is inside. He tells Sarah, prepare the finest flour and make bread for them. He goes and tells the servant, bring the best calf, kill it, and let's give good food for those who come to us. My dear friends, God has loved us so much that he gave everything including his own son. And he feels so happy whenever his children are filled with the same love for God and compassion and care for one another. We may ask, how did this man, Abraham, became such a loving person? Yes, not that he didn't have life, problems in his life. We know very well. His own brother's son, Lot, cheated him. And he got the best land and he got best crops. And he built up a beautiful city in Sodom because he's happy. But Abraham, he got a dry land and he's still living in the huts. So whether you live in huts or palace, that doesn't decide the heart of love. The heart of love comes when we recognize the Lord who is love loving us and celebrating Him. For every house, there is a base, there is a roof. For this, a person to become a person of love, there is a base. What is that base? That is the faith and hope. My God loves me. My God is with me. And the same God who is in me is in others. So, with a faith in God and one another, he became a person of love. And every house has got not only base that my God is a God of love and he is with me and to serve him is my life, but also has got the roof, the vision. What is the vision of love? Is A person becomes lovable. And being loved by God, he wishes that the life he has, everybody should receive. Yes. That's why Abraham forgot about himself and ran as soon as he saw those strangers. He gave life to them, gave food to them, gave comfort to them. Today, the Lord is looking at you and me. Our life is a precious gift. 
to become a person of love have the base of faith and hope in life many problems will come many disturbances will come the house of abraham was a hut yes but that doesn't matter have the heart of love and celebrate it and give life to others we find st paul says i was a man who disturbed and persecuted christians but christ showed so much love for me from the book of colossians chapter 1 he says so now i want to live my life for that god he has trusted me and now i want to live for him i want to serve him i want to commit my life to him in the life of time of jesus he offered himself and gave life to everybody now in my time where i am people are in need of love and life so i offer myself what is lacking in christ means what christ cannot do here i do on behalf of christ christ suffered on that day today i die on behalf of christ that i can give christ life love and christ love to those with whom i live and st paul says not only i fulfill what is lacking in christ he says when i die lose myself and giving myself to god and one another i find revelation is coming and new new inspirations are coming to me yes when a seed dies trusting the ground a new life a green plant it becomes a tree later yes whenever we live in love and sacrifice ourselves for the sake of god and one another god reveals great secrets of heaven to us love life is a unique life